We're told that during each cycle, the engine expels 10 kilojoule of exhaust energy. So we know that Q, C, remember how the engine works? It takes, it takes energy, QH, from a hot reservoir. It does work, W, and it expels energy, QC, to a cold reservoir. We're told that the energy expel that the engine expels 10 kilojoules. So QC is 10 kilojoules, that is 10 to the 4 joules. A kilo is 1,000, so that's 10,000 joules. We want to find the energy taken in during each cycle. Remember that the efficiency, E, is 1 minus QC over QH. So I want to find the energy taken in, that is QH. So the question is here, find QH, knowing the efficiency and knowing QC. So that's simple. So this means that QC over QH is 1 minus E, which means that QH is equal to QC over 1 minus E. So QH, QC is given 10 to the 4 over 1 minus E. E is 20%, which means 0 0.2. So this is 10 to the 4 joules over 0 0.8 which is 1.25 times 10 to the 4 joules. So this is the energy taken in during each cycle. Now we want the duration of the cycle. Now we're given the, the power. We haven't used that yet. The power is 10 kilowatts. Now what's the power? The power is the work done divided by the time. So if the, we're told here that the power output is 10 kilowatt, okay? So this is the work divided by the time. Now, in one cycle, or during one cycle, what is the work done? So during one cycle, the work done is what? QH minus QC by conservation of energy, or it's E times QH by definition of the efficiency. Efficiency also is defined as work over QH. So it's E times QH or QH minus QC. Those are the same. QH is 1.25 times 10 to the 4, and QC is 10 to the 4. So this is 0 0.25 times 10 to the 4 joules. This is the work done during each cycle. So if the time for each cycle is delta T, then the power is just the work during or in one cycle, work done in one cycle, divided by the duration of the cycle. And that's the time it takes to do this work, times the duration of the cycle. That's the power. So this is 0 0.25 times 10 to the 4 joules divided by the duration of the cycle delta t. So delta t is 0 0.25 times 10 to the 4 over the power, which is 10 kilowatts. So that's 10 to the power 4, 
10,000. So it's 0 0.25 seconds. That's uh, duration of the cycle. That is, every cycle lasts one quarter of a second. During each cycle, the work done is 0 0.25 times 10 to the 4 joules. So what is the power output? The work divided by the time, which is indeed then 10 kilowatts. Uh, 